All right, so um, currently we're in a Cherokee product and uh, there's a little different type slide between the Cherokee and the Gray Wolf. This one we're gonna focus on the Cherokee, which is a through frame slide. Um, it's also going to give us a flush floor inside. So one of the things that we want to make sure of before we go ahead and bring this slide out in or put it out is when we're bringing it in after our camping weekend, we want to make sure the floor is nice and clean. Um, reason being is the slide floor may make contact with the floor inside, i.e. the linoleum in the camper. So if there is any rocks or debris or anything that was left on the floor, it may cause damage to your floor. So make sure that we do swipe sweep the floor before we go ahead and bring that slide out in and run it out. We're also going to want to see if um, maybe a cabinet opened up in transit. So by walking through the entry door, Carl, if you can follow me over here, we can see these cabinets when this slide out is in. If one of these were to open up, we're probably going to damage that cabinet. So I would just take a quick look down to make sure that when I do run that slide out out, that I'm not going to damage anything. Another thing with this slide out here is when we bring them in and out, there's a clutch on the motor, different than some of the other slides, different than the Gray Wolf slide. So when we put it out, it's going to make a distinctive sound for us. It's going to make a ratcheting sound. We'll see if we can hear that sound here in just a second when it's all the way out. So it kind of sounds like a machine gun almost. And that tells me that the slide out is all the way out. I can go ahead and let off the button. And it's going to be the same on the in stroke as well. That is a 12 volt slide. So it does run on battery power. You do not need to be plugged into shore power to operate it.